Microsoft Excel 2013 Keyboard Selection Methods. There are several efficient ways to select cells, rows, and columns in Excel. In this example, I will show you how to select one cell, a range of cells, or all cells within a data range. To select a single cell, just click on the cell you're interested in selecting. If you would like to select additional cells, left click and drag. To select the entire data range, use the keyboard shortcut Control and A. So Control A will select the entire data range, not the entire worksheet, but just the current data range that we're in. There may be times where you want to extend your range that you selected. So let's say I select this range here, but I really wanted a couple of more columns to the right selected and a few more rows. Well, I already have this selected, so I don't need to reselect this. There is a shift key down in the lower left of your keyboard, and as long as you use any of the arrow keys that are found on your keyboard, you can increase or decrease the amount of the selected cells. So if I use the right arrow with the shift key, notice I can bump over two more columns. And if I use the shift key and the down arrow, I can extend my range. Now I went too far, so I'm going to hold the shift key down and use my up arrow and I can deselect that range. There's also another method you can use with the shift key, and that is to click in the first cell, hold the shift key down, and then click in the last cell that you would like to select. There may be times when you would like to select several cells, but they're not all together. To do this, click in the cell or cells that you want to select first, then hold the control key found in the lower left of your keyboard, and select either one cell or the additional cells that you would like to select. So the control key allows you to select non-contiguous cells. The shift key is a block or contiguous cells. Control A will grab the entire data range that we're working with. Or you can use the select all button found just above the number one and to the left of column A. This will select the entire worksheet and that is using keyboard selection methods in Microsoft Excel 2013.